Now, when you think of German high tech, you think about the best cars in the world. But little did you know that Germany produces one of the best handguns in the world. Now with me, I've got James Bond's favorite, Walter and John Wick's baby, Heckler and Koch. Now I wanna see who has a better chance, the guy with the license to kill or the guy with the contract to kill. Now we're gonna start with the Walter PPQ. Now before you guys start cussing me out in the comment section below, oh, this is not the James Bond pistol. Guys, keep in mind, this is the evolution of the PPK. If James Bond's Aston Martin DBs are getting upgraded with every movie, why shouldn't his pistols? Now, for all those who've been living under a rock and don't know anything about these pistols, is that these are both nine millimeter pistols. Both carry around 15 rounds in the magazine, but the biggest difference between these two pistols is that the Walter PPQ is a striker fired pistol, and this is a double action, single action hammer pistol. So now I'm gonna follow John Wick's footsteps and I've come up with a nice set of movements to repeat exactly what he did. I'm gonna take cover, finish off the first bad guy, take out the second one, and then their boss. That's how John Wick did it and I'm gonna do it even better. So I just found out who killed my dog and now it's time for them to die. I'm gonna repeat the exact same movements with the Walter PPQ, but only this time the name Sing. Uday Sing. Take it easy. It's a cold, dark evening. You're on the streets of Beirut. You've got your girlfriend right next to you. And then two assailants come and attack you. And you understand that your life is in critical danger. What do you do? So look at this. And that's how you defend yourself. And always follow all safety regulations. Now, I just want to fire a few shots from both these pistols and see how they feel in my hand, how my finger feels about the trigger. Just, you know, relax, no more drills. Just some nice shooting. And I'm gonna start with the Walter. Every time I hit the slide lock, I don't know why, it just happens. Again, it happened. Again, this is a love-hate story with the Walter PPQ because the trigger is amazing. It, it felt perfect, it was buttery smooth. Walter actually calls, uh, calls it the special forces trigger because it's so fast and responsive. It's just perfect, but again, the problem with me is ergonomics of the pistol. My thumb keeps hitting the slide lock and that's a problem. Now let's try the Heckler & Koch P30L. 
Well guys, you're watching all the videos, but you're not subscribed to the channel. How am I supposed to continue the good Lord's work if you're not subscribed? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now the L in the P30L stands for lengthened barrel. Now this is a four and a half inch barrel. So it's half an inch longer than the original P30's barrel. And let's see how it feels. Good. I really liked the P30L more than the Walter PPQ because it just fit my hand better. I like the fact that it has an external cocking hammer which I can cock with my thumb. Um, this gives me a more reliable feeling. And um, not too long ago, maybe about 10 years ago, there was an endurance test done on the P30 in which it fired around 91,000 rounds without a major components failure. That is a very, very big number for this pistol and I just guess the P30L is a better weapon, for me at least. Now the one thing that I really didn't like about either the P30L or the PPQ is that they've got paddle operated mag release. So I'm shooting and then I have to take my finger off the trigger and somehow try to pull it down. And it's just not very comfortable. The same thing with the PPQ. I'm shooting, I have to take my finger off and then somehow push it down. You see, it's, it's just a bit uncomfortable for me. Whereas in the Glock, for example, it has a button operated mag release. I'm done with my pistol, I'm done shooting. Just press it and it's gone. It's just more comfortable. I think this is something that the P30L and the Walter PPQ, they could really work on this and maybe for the next version, they can add a button operated mag release. Now, I really think that John Wick with his P30L could really take out James Bond. And of course, James Bond really needs to upgrade his arsenal, especially to the PPQ. You might disagree with me in the comment section below, but don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.